What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mega Geek Mixer here to give you guys my live reaction to the next chapter of One Piece. And before we get into it, yes, I do know that after this chapter, we won't be having a new chapter for a whole month. And this is due to Oda having having surgery. I forget what it was on. It had something to do with his eye, I believe. And I wish him all the best of luck and a healthy recovery and a good time to spend with his family. Oda, we can't thank you enough for all you do for us, and we. Can't wait for you to return. Until then, enjoy your time off. Now, having said that, though, guys, I have also been informed that I need to pay close attention to the ending of this chapter because it had a connection with One Piece Red Film. And I remember to recheck that because they said something about what the Five Elder Stars said in there. And I kept my eyes on what they said. So I guess I'll find out what exactly they were talking about, my friends who didn't spoil anything for me. Now, having said that, let's get into this. All right, a shonen, a shonen Jump cover of Luffy, Garp, and Kobe. I like this. Wait, is this probably a new One Piece film they're going to work on sometime? I, if it is, I find it interesting that I'll focus on Garp and Kobe. Either way, no rain, rain, no rainbow. And let's see. Cover requested by Crazy Doa. <laughs> well, the way it looks, it'd be perfect for Pride Month since this is Pride Month. I'm, I don't know if Oda did that intentionally or not, but who knows? Either way, here we go. Chapter 1086 The Five Elder Plants. I mean, planets. <laughs> planets. I think I know what they mean by that, based on one of the ones we already know the names to. Either way, let's keep going. Curtain, the curtains drew closed on the reverie for the news of King Cobra's murder. Oh, Igaram. <laughs> Igaram and, whoa, all Igaram along with Pell and everyone from, from the royal family guards are looking for Princess Vivi. It's all going crazy. A number of stowaways held their breath as they attempted to escape on the various royal vessels. I think I know who they're... Yep, there's two of them. Wapple and Vivi. <laughs> At least now we know how they got... They got aboard on Morgan's news... News ship. Wapple had connections with this guy. <laughs> but I wonder how Vivi's gonna meet up with the Straw Hats again. Ask for if she'll join them again. From the looks of things, maybe so. And yeah, from the looks of things, maybe just temporarily. Who knows? <laughs> Baby wants to know what Waffles saw, but he don't want to talk about anything. <laughs> I don't necessarily say I can blame him with how terrified he is. <laughs> and then we got a picture of them looking for Sabo. Oh, Jerry Boney also played played stowaway on another kingdom's boat not that i know oh wait tajin tajini kingdom ship and then of course there's sable on the lulucian kingdom ship <laughs> huh. yeah he got damaged pretty bad there by the five elder stars and emu didn't take long for the two key stories to spread across the globe the murder of Cobra and the disappearance of Princess Vivi. <laughs> and then the holy land of Marijoa. The man they call Sabo. Seems to have a checkered faith, being surrounded by those who bear the letter D. It kind of makes you think maybe Sabo's a D himself in some way, or maybe he will inherit the D somehow or some way. We'll be able to see the egghead issue now. But it seems that dealing with this complication will have to take priority. Ah, they're about to talk with Emu, and sounds like they were originally going to do the egghead incident that's going on earlier, but <laughs> with what happened at the Reverie, they had to push it back. <laughs> the time has come to put Vegapunk's invention to the test. Use the Mother Flame. Wait a minute. Could that be... Let me read through first. 
We haven't had the chance to try it out before now. As certain its effectiveness yet, how we choose to handle the egghead incident. I think a forest area would be more suitable testing ground than a sea-based target. Lelucia Kingdom! It is! It's that weapon that destroyed that kingdom! And I'm still convinced that's an ancient weapon. But what did he, Emu, he or she, or better yet, they, meant by Vegapunk? Could, the, could Vegapunk have done something to adjust the weapon or energize it or something? This is of no consequence. <laughs> you don't care that there are people on it. Well, if anything, we can be lucky that some people on there survived because they were with Sabo, mind you. What's this? It's close proximity. It shall be as you say. Oh, the five elder stars' names. The rest of them. We already know Saturn. And he's defense science warrior god. The man with... The man that's usually standing up in that long mustache. Five elder planets environmental warrior god. St. Marcus Mars. The one who's bald and with the mustache. Justice warrior god. St. Topman. Valkyrie, the Samurai, Finance Warrior God, St. Ethan Baron V. Nosjuro. I hope I said that right. And then there's Planet Architectural Warrior God, St. Shepherd Jupiter. Interesting names, how they're all the names of the planets that are surrounded or not surrounded by Earth, but that are around, that are over there in our galaxy of the Milky Way, and they're surrounded by the sun. <laughs> How interesting. And yeah, one more thing. Retrieve Vivi. <laughs> so this is where it leads into him wanting to retrieve Vivi, and as such as the hunt for Vivi has begun. I guess this is where it'll be a race for Vivi to try to get to the Straw Hats or the Revolutionaries or any ally she can find before the government gets to them. This makes me see why it's better she doesn't go back to Alabasta right now. But that could be problematic for their country. But still, you got to think this through. <laughs> Either way, we got to keep moving. This is getting good. Our both way. The Kingdom of Tajini and the Aegis Kingdom are both rebelling. Vivi was actually ta mentioning that when she was stowed away with with Wapple and that one that Jory was on, she's she stowed away in that kingdom. Interesting. Between the disbanding of the seven warlords and the uprising and government affiliated nations, the navy has their hands full. However, Ah, the other Seraphim of the original Warlords, Flamingo, Moria, and Crocodile. I knew they had them. I knew they had them. <laughs> ah, this is good. Eventually, we will see that. Ah, now we're finished with the flashback and back to Sabo. Okay, let's go. Second, we docked at Lulucia. The people arrested King Saki and Pro and Princess Komani. They were just waiting to ambush the royals, which all explains how they ended up in the brig they were in before their island was destroyed. <laughs> Since I was a stowaway, they welcomed me with open arms. That's when, when I saw the papers and found out that they pinned. <laughs> well, yeah. After all, that's what the government does. They force those papers so they can make it look like others are the bad guys and not them and stuff. But hey, that's just how it is. <laughs> Luckily, though, at least Dragon and Ivankov now know the truth. Consider me a hero. <laughs> well, you can definitely say, well, I don't think Sabo has a problem with that. Luffy would have a problem with that. Fan flames of rebellion with them. The words died in my mouth. Betty and the others had already inspired a lot of them. During the whole pink beard incident and stuff. So yeah, it's understandable. Uh, 
Ah, Sabo thought ahead. So when he made that call, he already knew what he was doing. But then again, we kind of already figured that out. <laughs> Very smart, Sabo. Everyone on board was hi hi hysterical. A lot of them had families on the island. Yeah, and I'll bet that really does break your break you. I mean, if anyone can know how those Lulusian Kingdom people who were with Sabo on that ship of watching as their island is destroyed, if anyone knows how they feel, it's Robin. How in the world did they do it? An enormous shadow seemed to engulf the skies above us, and the next moment everything was gone. <laughs> Yep, dragon, and what what that was was an ancient weapon. I know it hasn't been confirmed, but it has to be an ancient weapon. Yeah, the government got their hands on one of them. <laughs> or some natural. <laughs> and trust me, Sabo, when you guys find it out, it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Ivanka freaking up Emu. This may be a little out, out there, but when the world we know today was created 800 years, one of the first 20 sovereigns was Saint Emu of, of House Neron, Nerona. Hmm. House of Nerona. Very interesting. Since we know an ability grants eternal youth. It's said to exist. That must mean someone had used it before. True, which is already what I kind of suspected with Emu. That's if Emu is still that same Emu from all those years ago. Yeah, he was given he was given the surgical thing from the Op-Op group. Could be a coincidence. Could anyone else? <laughs> you never know around there, man. Assuming the object you saw above the clouds was a weapon made by then only one one capable of creating such a thing. Yeah, Vegapunk. <laughs> but of course we, and yeah, Dragon can't believe that Vegapunk would intentionally make something like that. And he's not necessarily wrong. If Vegapunk did make that, it was through some other way, like some lie or something or something or other. Because if there's one thing I've noticed about Vegapunk, he doesn't mean to do things in intentionally evil. He is being requested about it or something that was the sorts, like where he gets mixed up on what his intentions are to what he wants to do with it. And not to mention his curiosity mind, which the government will take advantage of. So you never know. And even Ivankov is thinking this might be an ancient weapon. So you got to be careful with this. Why wait till now to use it? That is a good question, but that could lead into what I was thinking. Vegapunk in Egghead Island was talking about how he was mentioning about trying to make the energy that was made by that giant robot weapon. And what if they did have this ancient weapon, but they just couldn't use it until now because they didn't have the power source for it that Vegapunk has somehow come up with. That's just my guess on that one, mind you. Either way. Present day, holy land of Marijoa, a celestial dragon has been sentenced to death. But the information is not revealed to the public, huh? Hmm, a new character. Oh, wait, this must be one of those god knights that dragon mentioned. Yeah, he looks tough, though. Well, let's, let, let's hear this out. Let's see who this is. The judge was the former king of the land known as God Valley? The island where Rog Zabeg was defeated by Roger and Garp? Whoa. He currently serves as the supreme commander of the God Knights. And the man he sentenced to execution, known other than the one who chose to defend the fishman. Oh, he he killed him? The one who, who kept saving Princess Shirahoshi from that Charlus guy? Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, that just... Yeah. 
but I guess if anything, at least Don Quixote went down being still the noble person that he came to be, thanks to, I guess, Alto Hime. Either way, though, still, woo! His name is Saint... Wait, Ferglin? Ferglin? Whoa, 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 hold, hold on, hold on! I remember that name from the film. Is this guy... He could... Shanks? Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 let me let me read through the rest of this. You can even judge the celestial dragon. Anyone who protects scum is lower than the scum they protect. Holy crap! Whoa, 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 whoa! I just not whoa, 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 whoa. Could this guy be related to Shanks? Because I do remember, if I'm not mistaken, Shanks was found in a treasure chest that was on God Valley here. And, and, and in the film, in the film, they mentioned that name, that figure, figure grove or whatever name they said there. And this guy, former king of God Valley. And now that name, whoa, this is just mind blowing. First, we got the fact that we no doubt know we have more more than a doubt doubtful know that that's an ancient weapon that the government has they somehow have activated it. now this guy and all this other crap going on whoa my god this is insanity man this will be a lot to unpack and a good thing there's months to it because i really want to do a video of everything i learned from this chapter last chapter it's just insane guys it is enjoyable and what a great way to end this for us while we go on hiatus thank you once again oda you are always the best out there and until then guys if you enjoy my reaction videos like always all you gotta do is click that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to be notified when i make more videos and until then, Mega Geek Mixer, signing out. Bye!